live and we're starting off on super old, dry, crusty, and even flaky hair. I love doing the style to get me to wash day, so let's get started. We're going to begin by sectioning off our bangs by working with the front of our hair from temple to temple, going all the way about, ooh girl, you see them flakes? Going all the way to about mid crown and circling back to the other side to the other temple. Then you should have a clean cut from temple to temple, peeking at the mid crown. Section that section out of the way so we can focus on the back. Moving on to the back, we're going to begin by sectioning off a small to medium sized row of hair and bantunating it out of the way. Heading back yet again and sectioning off another small to medium sized row section of hair, bantunating it out of the way. We're going to continue this process until we've completed the whole back side of our hair, making sure to go from top to bottom. Messy parts are perfectly fine, it doesn't have to be perfect. I used the style to get me to wash day so it's perfectly fine. I completed my sections off with a total of six bantu knotted sections. To style the hair, I'm gonna grab one section at a time and lightly spritz with water, working the water in before grabbing my I can't believe it's not pumpkin hair butter by Sotanicals. This is one of my favorite butters at the moment. I like to take a good amount of placing it first at my end and then grabbing a little bit more and coating the hair shaft itself, working the product into the hair, finger detangling as I go. Once the hair is coated, I'm gonna grab a small section at the very top of the section that we're working with, splitting it into two and then doing a two strand twist. Holding the other side of the section down, using my index finger to help me grab small sections of hair to add into my twist and twisting over. I'm going to continue doing this process until I run out of scalp. Finishing off that section by doing a standard two strand twist all the way down, making sure it's nice and tight and then twirling the ends together to keep it all intact. Super easy! So grab another section and repeat the process by lightly spritzing with water, massaging the water in before grabbing, I cannot believe it's not pumpkin butter, massaging it at the ends, working our way up before applying it to the hair shaft, massaging that in as well. And once the hair is fully coated and detangled, you'll definitely notice a difference. Look at that curls, girl! And then from the very top, we're gonna grab a small section, split it in half, do a two strand twist, and then using our index finger, to help us grab small to medium sized sections, twisting it into the mix and continue doing this until we run out of scalp. Then two strand twisting all the way down and once we get to the very end, twirling them together. Great, now continue this process for our remaining sections. This is currently my version of a flat twist. I'm still learning, still trying, but I think it works just the same. Finishing off the back with a total of six flat twists, now it's time to work on our frontal bangs. We're going to be separating this into three equal sections, one on one side, one in the center, and one on the other side. Bent and at them out of the way so we can focus on one section at a time. Working with our first section, we're going to lightly spritz with water before adding a generous amount of our product, finger detangling as we go, and then we're going to continue our flat twist technique that we have been doing before, using our index finger to help us add in here to the flat twist, then twisting all the way down to the ends, and I like to add extra product here in my bangs at the ends before I begin to twirl them together. Now just continue this technique for the remainder of our bangs. In my bangs, I like to use my index finger to grab smaller sections of hair to ensure I have the most definition. With a total of nine flat twists, the next step is satin scarf and bed. The next morning, takedown is super easy. Starting from the back, grab one of the twists and begin to twist it in the opposite way that we twisted it. You'll see that the twist will begin to unravel and very softly and gently, we're going to take down all of the flat twisted sections that we created. Barely any fluffing needed. <laughs> Next, I like to lightly but generously spritz the perimeter of my hair with water before going in with my favorite butter. This is my Lily Fluffy Shea Butter Cream, applying a dime size amount, massaging it in to the perimeter of my hair, and then using a brush to smooth it all in and getting my edges nice and soft before putting my hair into a high ponytail. I like to make sure that my ponytail is at the very, very top peak of my crown and then using a scrunchie to create a soft Bun. I like to stretch out the bun a little bit to give it more shape and body and then working on those little straggly sections I like to pin it into place wrapping it around the bun and then our bun is complete <laughs> 
Working on the bangs, which is super easy, we're gonna grab one section at a time and unravel the twist in the opposite way that we twisted it, being very gentle here, making sure to take note of all of the small flat twisted sections we created, making sure not to disrupt those curls, taking them down very gently and softly, unraveling all of our beautiful curls. If I see a curl that I think is just too big, I like to separate it just a little bit. And then just continue this process for the remaining sections. I mean, look at that definition. Look at those curls. <laughs> Lastly, to make sure that our bangs frame our face, we're going to need a whole lot of pins and begin to separate your bangs into a top and bottom, cutting it directly in half. Grab your pins and hold down that front section and allow the pins to frame your face and holding the bangs in place. Lastly, grab the remaining to cover it up and we're done. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't be shy to subscribe, give me a big thumbs up, and comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and never forget to live in love with you.